Kia ora from Aotearoa, it's Poppy here with the current ninth wave mine energies. Uh, today is 13 Road, which sends us up to the next racina of Reed, the heart and the hearth. And being pillars that, that bring earth to heaven and heaven to earth, moving both ways. But it's we've just completed the, or oh, this is the last day of the Sun Tracina. And the sun has been flaring all of these incredible M-class flares. And as these flares happen, what they do is they actually enhance the, the time waves that are pouring through from the sun. So the sun has really been expressing itself. It has been putting exposure onto everything. Um, it's also coincided with a full moon, which does tend to hold energy over. So this is about our destiny roads, and our destiny roads, we are going to get such a different picture of what they involve now. They may not have been what we thought they would be, and what's happening with all the massive exposure that the sun has been illuminating is that everybody is getting to see what really is. All secrets are being exposed, and it's going to be a very tough time for many as they need to come to terms with how they have perhaps trampled on and exploited those who came here to be the change that the new earth needed. So some people um, took on huge, huge um, experiences in this life to finish them. And at the very bottom of what the sun illuminates there have been people who have been literally treated like the scum of the earth, who have carried a great amount of trauma in the breaking down of the matrix system with its artificial timekeeping. And this actually falls right down to those that have had to be sacrificial for this world. And these people are actually of a very high frequency to actually have been here to survive this and to be able to tell the story. These stories will be coming, becoming more known and it's going to mean that humanity uh, will cease to trample on this, these ways that have come through money systems, they've come through all the things that were introduced into the sixth wave, which were religion, uh, science, the very left brain patriarchal era where humanity was removed from its, its divine nature and there was a huge separation that happened. And many souls have come back lifetime after lifetime to try to correct this way and to create a new earth reality where everyone is safe and no one is marginalized and that there can be harmony and balance for all and that children are, are not going to have to endure the horrors and the things that have been at the bottom of this very system um, which people have been not wanting to see and treating those who have been through it um, just as mental cases. Of course, mental health gets drastically affected by having to be at the bottom um, by enduring uh, human ritual sacrifice and being a witness to the horrors of, of how all of these things and, and happen and the programs that get instilled. And this is like the bottom um, the bottom of the layer, as I see it, that has sat underneath the matrix formulation uh, where the matrix... Uh, what has been pulsed from the matrix, the frequencies that have come from that to keep it in place have actually come from Saturn, um, who is a false time god. And so it's actually connect people back to Saturn and away from the divine sun. 
the sun where we all become one the sun that is the portal to the heart of the heavenly father who pulses his timekeeping frequencies out for all to live by and grow by and this is in connection with the creation which is the earth so because people have been very disconnected from these divine time frequencies and have been held captive by the Saturnian regime, the patriarchy and all of that, our creations have created the discordance, the disharmony and the, the pain and the suffering of separation. So now we are reconnecting and in this six serpent night wave this is about the reconnection of our divine source parents right through to the crown to the heavenly father and to the absolute um, foundation which is the heart of the earthly mother and um this earthliness is just as heavenly as the heavenliness, but because of this patriarchy, because of this um, infection that took hold through our consciousness in this era of time, her, she's been usurped. And her absolute sacredness, her divinity, the essence of the nature and who she is, the blissful being of who she is, has been overridden um, and cause so much trauma and so much safe suffering of separation. So many people have been healing the massive traumas that were related in the infection over a great period of time. And those that at the bottom that have given and sacrificed um, have not been looked after by by others programs were written into our reality that caused more uh, scapegoating more hijacking and more programs that tried to keep us under and tried to keep us from actually coming out and telling the truth as it is and and how it can relieve us and how we can be set free so i'm it's going to be difficult as people wake up and they see how they have walked on and trampled on these ones that actually came to be a part of um, releasing it on behalf of everybody but received more bullying and more persecution and um, and and where we were still trying to heal the programming We've been vulnerable um, to more and more and more abuse until we could get to the point where that abuse could be unpacked and we could become more bulletproof and and tell the story of of what our existence really is about. And it is it is the divine connection with nature that they tried to usurp through the rituals that were upon me. And it was also the colonial, um, the colonial part of the colonization that came through with my particular lot, um, that the change in the banking system happened through sacrifices, which were uh, created through the Rothschild family. And I have had more and more disclosure and more... Um, remembrance and I will go into more detail of this um, but yeah many people are going to feel the shame and many people are going to feel the guilt and everything by the actions that they took that further ground those that were doing some of the greatest um, acts to change ex experiences to change this reality like going down into the deepest and the most painful and traumatic um, experiences that have come out of the era of separation to bring up, back up the rising and the beauty and the power of a new earth who will rise because no, more, no one else will be marginalised everything will be seen for what it is and all of the true light of explosion, exposure 
is causing the changes that need to happen. So some people, many people will will be confronted with um, how how they've done that, perhaps how they sought money instead of um, looking after nature and how that further trampling and um, drawing people into false timelines and constructions that are separated from the Heavenly Father and the Earthly Mother. All of these things are being made known and together we can all thrive. Um, the, the guilt, the shame, uh, the things that people will feel, yes, we may have to look at it very but also to remember that as souls we all be have been doing the best that we can with the knowledge that we have known at any given moment and that these corrections can be made with humility and with love and with that returning back to the divine source parents that create the balance the harmony and the unity where through the sun and that beautiful illumination, we all may become one. And so it is.